Well, this is a story a lot of people have been following. We've talked a lot about it. Tens of thousands of people in Oregon and Washington are still waiting for unemployment benefits. And Galen, it's so frustrating for them. Absolutely, Ashley. And we keep sharing their stories because we know they represent so many more people out there who are still struggling. Here's how some of them are coping and an update with those numbers. We're definitely struggling. Brian Kimmel is a freelance videographer with Optic Nerve Productions in Portland. After months, he hasn't received pandemic unemployment assistance. It hasn't been very clear as to what the best route for people like myself is. The self-employment tax that we pay as freelancers is substantial. So now to know that there's no support whatsoever from having paid that, you know, from the government has been really frustrating. The numbers are not good. And they are not just numbers. Oregon Employment Department's new director, David Gerstenfeld, says of the 97,000 PUA applications, 17,000 people have received payments. About 70,000 are still left to process. We are required to touch their application, not just once, but many times. That's because the rules and different qualifications for pandemic relief and regular unemployment don't always match. Every bit of my savings is gone. Ruby Howard in Medford was laid off in March. Well, two days after I lost my job, my mom passed away. So. She's now quilting and making masks, trying to make a living. She's in the final 1% of regular unemployment applications left unprocessed. I know they're backlogged really bad, and I understand that. But um, it's it's been a lot of different answers. She has gotten through to the employment office, but doesn't know why her benefits are on hold. She's turning to Facebook groups like this one for help. Felt like the only place I could go where somebody understood what I was talking about. Oregon Employment says it added 138 new phone lines and plans to add 150 more in a couple weeks. It's working to increase communication to people who have been waiting the longest. It's also hosting webinars to answer common questions. In Washington, the number of applications went down about 2% last week, but the total of about 700,000 claims is still 500% higher than this time last year. Nationally, weekly claims are down to about 1.5 million, compared to 5.2 million in mid-April. Meanwhile, Brian Kimmel is working on a documentary about the pandemic's impact, but isn't getting paid. He's now holding out hope for unemployment. Just going on good faith that, you know, it's going to get corrected and that I'm going to get some assistance at some point. 